Hi everyone. It's another day, another share with me, Phyllis Moody. So, the last few videos I've been showing you a few products and some projects that I have done um, with some of these products. So today, uh, the last video, the very last video, I talked about uh, the Philip Fiber Arts Company and how she does these amazing rulers and she makes these amazing geometric kind of like patterns and she's simplified them by um, the technique with her rulers. So the last one I showed was spot on with a ruler and several patterns to go with it. Well, the first ever ruler that I got from Philip Fiber Arts is a 10 degree ruler. And I've done, or wedge, I should say wedge, 10 degree wedge ruler. And I've had this ruler for years and years and years. Uh, it is a staple for ideas in my, and it's quite big, and you can make as small of a wedge or as large as a wedge with this ruler. And I've done several projects with this ruler. This is kind of like a go-to ruler. I bought it years, like I said, I bought it years and years and years and years ago. And it does come with a pattern. Like I said, all her rulers come with their own pattern. And then she has a book out. Um, she has a book that's available. I don't have any in stock. I believe I can get them. So if you're interested, I can. I believe I have one of her books in my personal library of quilting books that I could photograph and, and email to you and you can take a look and see if that's interesting to you but her her patterns are quite phenomenal so this one is one that um, comes with its own pattern all her rulers like I say come with a pattern to do so you can test the ruler out and get familiar with how the ruler works before you dive into buying other patterns from her um, but these, these make some pretty amazing, um, patterns and, uh, just, you know, you just get the right fabric and Bob's your uncle, you're, you're, uh, you're going. So, like I said, this ruler was, uh, one of the first ones I've ever owned and I've used it time and time again and I probably will continue using it time and time again. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've done with it. So the first thing I did with my ruler is I made these two these two circular things. I have some end tables that are circular, so I like circular um, little uh, table toppers. So this one is with the 10 degree ruler. I've sewn together X amount of strips and then I would cut with the 10 degree. Now these are done with the same fabrics except because of the way I've placed my ruler along the strip set after it's been sewn together I get two different patterns. So there's this one and then there's this one and this red is here closer to the center of the thing whereas this one is out on the outer edge. So how to get that is you make your strip set and then you take your ruler, let me just get this ruler out again, and then you take your ruler and you would cut it this way and then you would flip it and cut it the other way and these ones uh, make, um, you, you need a certain amount to go around. I'm not 100% sure how many wedges you need to make a full circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. You need 15 to get this circle. You need 15 to get that circle. That's what I did. So there was 15 of each. So that was one of the um, projects I did with it, one of the first ones. The other project I did were some table uh, table toppers to go on a circular table. And that's these ones here. So I chose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different fat quarters. And then I cut the strips. Uh, 
I th I'd like to say 13 inches and then I wedged I, I did them I cut a strip of each fabric 13 inches by with the fabric or whatever or half I can't remember if I used half meters or fat quarters um, but anyways uh, so it's 13 it's a uh, nine different fabrics and I wedged it this way and four of them make a perfect cir circle uh, to go on a circular table. I made these because I owned a circular table and now my daughter has it so she has one of these sets and she says she loves it because it covers it makes a really nice table topper uh, when they sit down to eat and they use these ones quite often. I should make her another set for a different colorway um, maybe a brighter one for the summer but anyways so another project uh, this was a pattern that I used to have in and it's double sided you quilt it as you go so it's with the wedge ruler and I believe there's instructions in this pattern to do um, to do place placemats with with this same wedge uh, they're a little longer and wider and like I said, it's it's double sided. So you have one set of fabrics on one side, and then you have another set of fabrics on the other side. And you also cut your batting to fit the wedge. You cut the batting with the wedge, and you sew everything as you go. Um, and that is a pattern I'm sold out at the moment. But if this interests you, give me a shout, and I will order it in for you if it's still available. So that was a fun project also. And that again is with the wedge ruler. Now, something I did uh, recently, I, I love Dresden plates. I love them. I've done tiny little ones to big, big ones. Now the tiny little ones I've used uh, my die cutter to do that. I have a wedge for a die cutter that's made to do uh, a certain amount of spokes and, and really tiny ones. But you could do a, a tiny one with the, the 10 degree ruler. It just means you're cutting it, your strip, your strip that you start with is, is not as wide as this, right? You just choose the width and then you line up your wedge ruler and you cut. So I decided that I really wanted to do a big medallion um, Dresden plate. So let me see if I can get stand up here and show this off to you. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard. It is really big. It's uh, it's it's quite big. Um I cut it into a, a rectangle and I think I will just sandwich this up and try to um, quilt it quilt it my uh, quilt it uh, and have fun with the quilting but yeah that gives you an idea so this has uh, to make one 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 two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I did 18 is one size times 2 is uh, 36, I think it is, or 30. 18. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, it's 36, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it's 36 uh, spokes. But I would have to um, properly count it, and uh, I'd have to count it off film. But, yeah, so that's about half. That's about half. That's half you see there. So this is a, another fun u ruler that you can um, utilize and have fun with. 
Uh, you can do lots and lots of things with this, this particular ruler. There's a lot of uh, ideas out there to do to do this um, to work with this ruler, and I'm sure uh, you can um, come up with some of your own ideas. So the 10 degree wedge ruler, I am all sold out. But like I said, if you're interested, give me a shout, and I'll place an order and get them in again. 10 degree ruler. Let me just hold this up so you can see what it looks like. Can you see that? Yeah. And like I said, it comes with its own pattern. So that is all for today. We will see you next time and I will uh, continue showing you some of the fiber Philip, uh, what is it called again? Uh, Philips fiber art rulers and patterns. So um, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for today. We'll see you next time, and happy quilting. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe below and ring the bell for notification when I upload. Take care. Happy quilting. Bye-bye.